Good morning. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. We're very glad you're with us this morning. People joining us via live stream and the people here. Let us, with a great smile, greet the people around us on this um, Friday in the fifth week of Ordinary Time. And let us sing together our gathering hymn, number 559. Open my eyes, Lord, number 559. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I great sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kiri elehi son. Kiri elehi son. Christe elehi son. Christe elehi son. Kiri elehi son. Kiri let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of the heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam left Jerusalem and the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Ahijah took off his new cloak, tore it into 12 pieces, and said to Jeroboam, take 10 pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel says, I will tear away the kingdom from Solomon's grass and will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David, my servant, and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, 
hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I give them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes I would turn my hand. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ear and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were open, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were always exceedingly astounded, and they said, all, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, we have, we find in the gospel an extraordinary fact carried out by the Lord Jesus. But he does it in a different way from an other healings that we find in the gospel. The person they introduce him to is a person who lacks hearing, that is deaf and therefore had the difficult speaking. Maybe we know a person with these limitations and that we consider people with capacities different from those we are used to having, like seeing, hearing, speaking, walking, writing, and thinking. But these people also have their own way of communicating. For example, the deaf, they communicate with a sign language and they can read lips. The blind write with braille, a form that we don't know how to use. Therefore, Jesus acts in a different way than what we usually see when he performs some healings. We hear in the gospel, he took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and experience touched his tongue. That is, 
Jesus does everything possible so that the person realizes that what Jesus is doing and realizes how blessed he is being. But the Lord adds other gestures that go beyond the physical level. Looking at the sky, he said, it, he said and said, Atheta, that is beyond. Thus, he expressed his communication and union with God and with the patient. Jesus' command open had immediately effect. His ears were open and began to speak clearly. With a healing, Jesus is restoring his health and reintegrated him into the community, making him participate in the same capacities of, uh, as others, but also making him participate in God's blessing. Brothers and sisters, let us be very careful to respect people and abilities different from ours. Let us not see them in a way that makes them feel bad. We don't despise them. Let us just respect others with different abilities or with the same ones as ours. Let us try to integrate them into our environment and above all, let us do everything possible to communicate positively with them. Because just like us, they are also people and deserve our respect and affection. We can also apply this with our elders. Let us try to be patient and kind with them. Let us try to help them and collaborate in that they need because the good that we do to others, it is Jesus himself to whom we do it. Jesus may the deaf hear and the mute speak. Let us ask the Lord to heal our physical impediments that we may enjoy the gift of life and serve him with a thankful hearts. Our response, Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. May the Lord open our lips so that our mouth may declare his praise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. May the Lord open our ears to the groans of those who suffer and our hands to help alleviate their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. May the Lord touch our hearts so that we may be near to the brokenhearted, the lonely, and the outcasts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. May church ministers enjoin the precepts of the church with moderation so as not to burden the lives of the faithful and make religion a form of servitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. May government agencies attend to the needs of the blind, the deaf, the mute, and those with other physical disabilities that they may have fuller, self-dependent lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. For the repose of the souls of Roberto Perez, Maria Alicia Quintanilla, in the needs of Soledad Garnica, for whom this mass we offer, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. For the intentions of Aislinn Abned, John Otomias, 
The Hell of the Tsuo Okada, Mercedes St. Hilary, Lorenzo Moran, Kyok Tungang, Rogelio Sanzer, Tony Or Olang, Golda Joseph, Sal Ayala Jr., Mary Shock, Elizabeth Benz, Demetria Balba, The Repose of the Soul of John, John Donahue, Marielu Divina Johnson, Johnson, Victoria Pineda, Belén Tiaño, Florante Maglalag, Arsenio Maglalag, Audrey Gravatz, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, make us whole. O oh Lord, your glory is the human person full alive. Help us in our capacities and enable us to use our capacity to help those who are in need of our help. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these sick created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Flip up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you create the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed anew. And so it is right that your, all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santus Dominus Deus Abau. Benitucheli et terra, gloria tua. O sana in excelsis, benedictu, qui peni en domine, domini. O sana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread her throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who has pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gratefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gratefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Quito glis pecata mundi, miserere nubi, aius dei. Quito glis pecata mundi, miserere nubi, aius dei. Quito glis pecata mundi, dona nubis Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, the wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry he fills with good things.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death. Amen. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her crust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph to us too, show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, courage, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. We are protection against winter and of the devil. May God be whom home we pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into all Satan and the other evil spirit who proud about the world for the rule of the soul. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us sing together number 499, Rain Down, number 499.